Discover how to automate email responses using AI on the LateNode platform. This tutorial shows you step-by-step -step how to create a scenario that generates draft replies based on incoming emails. Check the description for a link to the ready-made template in the shared templates section, making it even easier to get started. As an example of using AI nodes, let's create a scenario that will be triggered when receiving a new email. The result of executing this scenario will be a draft reply email with text automatically generated by AI. To create a new scenario, click the Add New Scenario button. It's best to name any new scenario and save the changes. In the scenario, you need to add a trigger node so that some event can initiate its launch. In our case, this event is the arrival of a new email. On the Triggers tab, we'll select the desired group, Gmail, and choose the needed node. To configure Gmail node, you need to perform authorization. Let's click the New Authorization button and select the service. And using an existing Google account, we'll complete the authorization itself. We'll allow all accesses in the Late Node platform. Authorization is complete and fields for configuration have appeared in the node. If necessary, you can select a label, for example, unread. Let's save the changes. Now the scenario will be triggered when receiving a new email, and in case it's still unread. In any AI model, instructions are needed for generation. They can change, so let's create several variables directly in the scenario. Let's add an action node of the set variables type. It serves to add new variables to the scenario and use them in the same scenario. We'll add three variables. For example, message length, the role of the user responding, and message format. Let's add values to the variables. For instance, we know in advance that we need to generate a reply email text one paragraph long. The reply email needs to be generated from the perspective of a manager. And in a business format, let's save the changes. In the scenario, we can classify the text, determining if there's a question in it. And depending on the classification, form one or another variant of the response. In any case, a response variant should be formed, so let's add two nodes for text generation. Each node should be connected to the set variables node. For the scenario to execute along one route or another, we need to configure the routes themselves in the window for their setup. But for this, we need to get data from previous nodes. We haven't launched them yet, so the platform doesn't know the data yet. Let's run the node once and send a test email. We'll check the mailbox. The test email has arrived. And let's return to the scenario. We'll wait for the node to execute. The node has executed. Now we have information about the email, including its brief content, and information about the email sender. Let's run the set variables node once as well. The output parameters are the variables and their values. Now, using the output data from these two nodes, we can configure the routes and the text generation nodes themselves. Let's configure the lower route first. The scenario execution will follow this route if the conditions added in the condition field are true. In our case, if the result of executing this expression is the word true. To set up the conditions, a special operator is used, which also allows asking various questions to AI and getting answers to them. And data from the previous node is also used. To add them, just click on the correct icon in the helper window. For the node data to be considered correctly in this operator, it needs to be highlighted with pluses and quotes. Let's name the route and save it. The scenario execution should go either along this route or the other, so let's just copy the conditions. We'll add it to the upper route and change the equals operator to the not equals operator. Thus, if the expression in parentheses is executed and the execution result equals anything but the word true, the scenario execution will follow the upper route. Let's name this route and save the changes. Let's configure the text generation nodes. First, we'll give instructions to the node that will generate a response to an interrogative email. We'll select the model and fill in the user prompt field. We'll ask to generate a response to the question in the email. In the email draft, it's necessary to indicate that the answer to the question is being prepared and will be announced soon. As the email recipient, we'll specify the data from the first node. As additional instructions, we'll specify that the role of the responding user equals the value of the role variable. The email format should correspond to the value in the format variable, and the email size should correspond to the value in the length variable. Let's save the settings and move on to configuring the second node. In the second node, we'll also ask to generate a draft. We'll also select the model. We'll ask to generate a draft simply using the text from the first node. 
as the recipient, we'll also specify the recipient from the first node, and we'll leave the rest of the instructions unchanged. They will also depend on the values of the variables. Let's save the changes and save the entire scenario. Let's add two more nodes to the scenario to generate an email draft. These are action nodes from the Gmail group. Create draft. Before configuring the node for creating a draft, let's run the AI nodes once so that the platform receives output data from these nodes and can display them in helper windows. Let's perform authorization. It already exists. The AI node data is displayed in the helper window. Let's choose the email subject. It can correspond to the subject of the incoming email. Let's select the response text. Content from the third node. Let's choose the recipient and save the changes. Let's add a second node for draft generation. We need a node from the Gmail group. We can choose the Reply Draft Generation node. Let's perform authorization. Let's select the subject in the email. We need the email body, but we haven't run the AI node once. Let's briefly leave the Draft Formation node. Let's run the fourth node once. The node has executed successfully. Now we have output parameters, and we can continue the setup. Assert validator. Here will be the content text of the fourth node. We can also select the message ID to which we need to reply. Let's choose the placement method and the corresponding value from the first node. Let's click the Save button. All required fields are filled. Let's save the scenario. For the scenario to run without pressing the one-time launch button, let's perform a deploy. The scenario is automatically active and will now be launched when a new email is received. We can see the launch lines in the scenario history. Let's send a test email. The test email has been sent and is already in the mailbox and contains a rather obvious question. Let's see if the scenario has executed. The scenario has executed successfully. The scenario execution went along the lower route. This means that the email text was classified as interrogative. The last node executed successfully. This means that the draft was created. Let's look at the draft itself. Let's open it. The draft is generated with the needed subject and text, which says that the message is received. The question is being worked on, and the answer will be given soon. Let's send a second test email of a congratulatory nature. It has already arrived and is displayed in the mailbox. Let's mark it as unread so that our scenario triggers and wait for it to execute. Let's close the previous execution. Let's check the scenario execution. Let's refresh the table once more. The scenario has executed. The scenario execution went along the upper route as the email is congratulatory and also due to the successful execution of the last note we see that a draft was formed. Let's go to the mailbox. Let's refresh the page and look at the draft. The email contains a generated response to a positive review, acknowledging the review, also a simple but necessary subject, and the recipient. Thus, we have built a scenario that classifies incoming emails and generates necessary responses to them. Create advanced automations with flexible logic, an AI assistant with JavaScript, and headless browser for ultimate control. Save up to 30 times compared to other competitors. Registration is straightforward. Sign up today with no credit card required and start creating automations that save you time and money. Transform your workflow with LateNode.com.